all right you guys so welcome back to my channel today today's video is so exciting for me because i've been wanting to do the vogue makeup tutorial where all the celebrities go on there and show you how they do their own makeup and i have the perfect person um justin sky she just uploaded hers i believe about three days ago or something like that and she's around the same skin tone as me so this works out perfect I can't wait to see how she does her makeup because I feel like in pictures and videos her makeup always looks perfect literally you guys like her skin is perfect everything is just perfect I want to be perfect so I'm just gonna copy exactly what she does and also I do want to point out she did start off with skincare first so if you do want to see you know what she does before she does her makeup watch that part but I'm just doing the makeup tutorial section of the video um that's why I have no makeup on my skin so yeah with that being said make sure you guys like and subscribe before we do start let's go ahead and jump right into the video I am way too excited let me calm down a little bit but I did fast forward the video to 6 30 if you guys are interested um and let me just play Play and see what she does so let's see so this is a lifesaver that I'm sure everybody knows about already my eyebrow pen so thing so I kind of stopped doing my eyebrows for like six months so it looks like she's using the Anastasia brow pencil I don't have the exact one but I do have the morphe brow pencil which is five dollars and it's so amazing but let me see what she does next right now I'm feeling like a natural kind of a fluffy situation even though I keep saying that and I keep going back in so it looks like she just goes in with her brow pencil typically I prime my eyebrows set it with a little bit of powder and then I do um, my eyebrow you know process but um yeah it's just because I have oily skin she's not doing that so I'm just gonna go in with the brow pencil and just fill it in boom So I think I'm done with my brows for the most part, um, but let's see what she does next. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit underneath, just a little bit. This is... All right, so she's cleaned up her brows concealer. with concealer. I think I have the Maybelline concealer. I have it in the shade 45 tan. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when it comes to my brows, typically I don't clean them up just because it doesn't look good on me. For some reason, it looks good on everybody else, but I feel like on my brows, it just looks really harsh. But I'm gonna do exactly what she did and just clean them up. I just came across some old photos of me when I thought I was doing something with my makeup. Girl. If I could talk to myself, I'd be like, just don't even put it on. Don't even bother. But you know, you have to go through those phases in order to see what's right. If you don't know what's wrong, how will you know what's right? Look at me saying cool things. Yes, she's cute. So I'm gonna Put a little base on the eyes, just so that this eyeshadow can pop up. So just like she's doing, I'm taking the same shade that I use for my brows, and I'm dragging it onto the lids as well. So now it looks like she's moving on to the eyes. Let's see what she's doing. I'm gonna go in with this Emerald Green palette. Oh, whoa! Okay, so she didn't use a crease I'm shade. Gonna... Okay, y'all know me. I always put some type of brown in my crease or something like that. She just goes in straight with the Huda Beauty Emerald Palette, I believe, and took like a teal green shade. So I don't have that palette, but I do have the Jaclyn Hill Palette, the original one. And there's a shade here. I'm not sure what it's called actually, but this shade right here, it kind of looks the same. Um, and it looks like she just threw it on her eyes, so I'm just gonna do the same thing too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm low key scared because I don't normally do my eyeshadow like this, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But it looks like she just put it on the outer corner and kind of dragged it in the crease. So after blending for a while, I will say it looks a lot better. 
than I thought. So let's see what shade she uses next on the eyes. I think I'm gonna just go in on the outsides with this kind of like brown olive kind of just to like blend it out out there. Let's see how that turns out. Okay, so she's using like an olive, like dark brown color. Do I even have one like that? So the shade that I think looks kind of close to that is Makeup Geek um, Concrete Jungle. It's a gray color, but it's not like as brown as hers, but I'm just gonna take a little bit on my brush and kind of see what it does. Y'all, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. But it's not looking bad. It kind of actually helps it blend out a little bit better. Oh, I really do like what's happening here. So now I think she's trying to decide what shade to use. Okay, and then I'm gonna on like. The lids. What should I do? What should I do? Should I do this? this one's kind she doesn't of know what trying to go with. <laughs> what should I do? All right, we're going for it. I'm gonna use this sparkly color in the. In the what are, what's this? You know the part. Okay, so she really didn't show me what shade to use. Um. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get one that's as close to that color as possible. Let me look in my collection. Okay, so after searching, I think I found the color and it's an LA Color Stellar Palette. Um, there's this blue shade, if y'all can see it. It kind of looks similar to the one that she has. I'm just gonna put on the lids and see what it looks like. I think it looks good. I think, I don't know. It looks good to me, honestly, it looks good. Be honest, how'd I do? Okay, I think it turned out really good because I was low-key nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I think it looks really nice and pretty. So let's see the next step she has on here. All right, so now these come off prep and prime. So it looks like she's priming her face with setting spray. Um, I don't have the Max Fix Plus, but I do have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I'm just gonna spray this directly on my face. I'm gonna go in with this, some foundation. So for foundation, I know she's using the NARS um, Radiant Longwear Foundation. I do have it in the shade Marquises. She doesn't tell us her shade, but with this, I used to use it all the time. Um, I know the reason I stopped is because this is just way too orange and like dark for my skin. Um, the shade below it is too light and the shade above it is too dark, so I had to go with the shade. But let's see how she applies her foundation. Some foundation. I just kind of like... Squirt a little bit on the back of my hand. Put some down on the neck. Blend it out. Boom. And oh, one thing I noticed she didn't do is color correct. Her skin is perfect, so I know she doesn't have to, but I have so many dark marks on my face. I typically color correct, so this is a little bit different for me. So I just noticed one thing. I was like, where's the primer? Like, where's the primer for the face? So I kind of rewind back um, to 444 and she was actually using primer and I didn't use primer, but it is what it is at this point. Um, but I believe she used the Hourglass primer. Um, so she does her primer way before she even starts her makeup. So that's kind of why I was throwing off a little bit. So yeah. So yeah, don't make the same mistake I did, but still the foundation is looking really, really nice on the skin. So here's the skin. And I just think it looks really, really good. Like, I don't know why I stopped using this foundation. And after blending it out, it kind of matches me, you know? So I don't know what I was thinking, y'all, honestly. But let's move on to concealer and see what she uses. Concealer. I like to... Okay, so she's using the NARS um, concealer. I don't have um, the exact one she has, but I do have the NARS... Um, a Monde Soft Matte Complete Concealer right here. So I'm just gonna use this instead. Actually, go bit by bit. Cause for some reason in my head, I feel like it dries. So to blend it out, she's clearly using a brush, which I never do. I always use a sponge, so this is a little bit different. Um, but let me press play and see. I feel like 
what she does. And that can affect you. I don't know if that's true or if that's just something I made up in my head, but. On like a regular day, I'd probably use cafe and just like, cause it's closer to my like skin tone. And I just put this under my eyes, like some right here, some right here. And um, use some powder, cover up any like blemishes if there's any, and um, some blush. And that's pretty much it. Do my brows, keep it really simple, spray some mist on my face and be really do it. But we're going for kind of like a going out kind of a look, so. And then you put some right here. So my skin is highlighted just like hers. Um, everything looks really, really good so far, you guys. And I love, love, love this concealer. I don't know why I stopped using it. I think the reason is because back in the day, it was too dry for me. I think that's the reason why. But it just looks so good with the foundation. Like My skin just looks really good right now. So I'm going to press play and see what she does next. Okay, I'm not like the best baker in town. I bake a little bit. A little bit. So I'm gonna go. So right now she's baking her skin and she really didn't say what powder she's using, but I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Kanafa. You guys know I love this on my channel. Um, she did state that she doesn't bake a lot on her face, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder. To the bakery right now. Mostly everything I know about my makeup, I learned from makeup artists. Cause I feel like I've been getting my makeup like, like I've been getting my face beat since I was like 15. So I'm gonna bake for a couple minutes and I do wanna point out, I never typically bake underneath, you know, my cheeks just because I always feel like it looks ashy on me. Um, but then again, I used to use it back in the day with like, you know, white white powder so that was probably the reason why but with a yellow powder it shouldn't look too bad but i'm gonna brush it off and see what it looks like because i don't want to bake this section too long and it doesn't look bad at all like wow i may have to start doing this again because it doesn't look ashy if you use a yellow powder just don't use a white powder like i used to use okay and then you'll be fine And I guess I'll go in with this bronzer just to shape the face. So it looks like she's going in with bronzer and she doesn't say what bronzer it is. I noticed with celebrities, they're a little bit different because they just start going in with the products where, you know, with me, of course, I'm like, here's the bronzer I use up close, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit different, but I'm just going to take some bronzer. This is the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Coconati and just bronze my face. And as I'm doing my bronzer, I just noticed that she didn't set her face with powder. And I watched it back just to make sure this time, and she really didn't. So, y'all know I'm oily, okay? Like, that's not good. <laughs> but moving on, let's see what she does this next. I love, like, cream eyeliner. Just makes my eyes, like... Okay, so she is taking like, you know, those nude eyeliners. I actually have the Rimmel Scandal Eyes um, number five nude eyeliner. I'm going to do the same exact thing that she does. So I actually think that looks really, really pretty on the eyes. It does open it up just a little bit more. Um, but let's see what she does next. Right now I'm going in like on the under eye, just like smoking it out sometimes. So I think she takes that same grayish brown shade underneath her eyes. So I'm taking the same one from Makeup Geek in Concrete Jungle. I'm gonna smoke the under part of my eyes just a little bit more. This look, I don't think I'm gonna do blush, but 
I am gonna do some highlighter. This is my palette for the lip bar. The lip bar reached out and they wanted to do a collaboration and I thought like what perfect concept to do for this uh, other than to like pay homage to like my heritage and so this is inspired by my Jamaican roots so it's very vibrant warm and all the names are kind of like it's the Island Gal collection and Island Gal which is me Island Gal So as she says, she is skipping blush, but she is using her highlighter palette. Um, the shade Island Gal, I think is similar to the Wet n Wild Crown of My Canopy. I think that's how you say it, um, highlighter. And I will show you guys what it looks like up close. Like it just looks very similar. I know my lights are a little bit bright, but hopefully y'all can see it. It's a very like pinky bronzy shade. So I'm just gonna do exactly what she did. So for the lips, she's actually using one of my favorite lip liners and it's a MAC Chestnut lip liner, of course. So I'm gonna line my lips just like she is. So this is my absolute favorite lip liner. It's called Chestnut. And I just like to do like a brown lip. I definitely am a big overliner. And also she didn't mention what lipstick she's using. So I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Raw Chocolate. Um, lipstick which is one of my favorites out there and just put it in the center and so then after I like outline the lip I go in with like a lighter like a nude to kind of go in the middle with and brighten it up kind of like an ombre so then just to like set it all I'm gonna go back in with the fix plus It's kind of boom, ready for whatever it is I'm going to do. This is like nighttime look, going out. Actually, I could hit the stage with this too. Bye guys. Hey guys, so that was the look. How did I do? Um, if you do ask me, I will say it turned out really nice because honestly, I didn't know half the product she was using. I was kind of guessing a little bit, but I still think it turned out really, really nice. But let me know your thoughts down below. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, subscribe before you do leave and I'll see you guys in my next one.